Hello, this is Luca from Quanta Lights, and today we're going to go over the Quanta Helix light bar. Um, I want to go over from the basics of what you get in the kit uh, to its unique features <clears throat> and uh, abilities. So, in the it, when you buy a light, it will include the light bar. It'll include a mounting bracket kit, okay, and a light bar hanging kit. All right. It also, of course, has a driver, and we have a couple uh, added accessories in there, and we'll go over those. Um, so first of all, the hanging kit. It's a metal hanging kit. It goes on your top of your lights, and you can mount this to any mounting surface you might have. It allows you to angle them. Uh, it allows you to do all sorts of fun stuff. You can mount it from the top track. You can mount it from the side track. So you have three tracks on this, one, two, three, and you can mount it on all of those. So let's say you, you wanted to angle it like this and uh, you have some mounting on the side, this mounting bracket will make that happen, okay? If you wanna hang it, this is your hanging kit. Comes with two things, now you can hang it. All right, cool. Uh, most light bars have the options for this, Quanta, doesn't charge you. They're included for free. Because why would you charge someone for a basic mounting kit? I don't know, but some do. Also included is these two odd uh, wire things. So this is a zero to 10 volt um, dimming cable. And if you wonder why, if you don't even, if you're like, what is zero to 10 volt dimming? Please look at my previous video. Uh, I go over what that is. And then this is basically a brightness knob. So you can turn it from off to 100% power. So this is adjustable. These plug in. This is for your light bar. This is the power that goes to your light bar. This is for these accessories. This is your zero to 10 volt dimming. So this proper, proper way to do this is you put it there. You see the red gasket, twist it. You don't see the red gasket, you're perfect. You have a waterproof tight connection. And now you can adjust the, dim, the dimming of your light bar with this or the pigtail goes into the same plug, same way, turn it in. This can go to your Apex, your Hydros, or your GHL 0 to 10 volt dimming output system. So again, there's a video based on just that. We're not going to dive in deep. Long story short, does the Helix dim? Yes. Okay. Second feature. This is a name brand, very high quality driver. This is a Meanwell. Um, we, have, we have decided to go away from the generic Chinese uh, driver and we're going with a name brand for the Helix. Uh, it is a very nice driver and it even has um, an adjustable port if you really want to fine tune it. Um, it has areas to um, mount it via some screws, which is really nice. Um, and then uh, the last um, new feature over the Quanta Pros is you can see it's a black color now, so it's no longer a gunmetal gray color. It's black. Um, so now I just want to quickly go over um, the light bar itself and what innovation and technology does it bring to the um, light bar uh, segment for reef and uh, fish only marine uh, tanks. So we still use a glass um, pane. We do not use plastic. Plastic uh, affects transmission of uh, violet light. It also scratches. And um, I have found that over time it can uh, degrade. Glass is much stronger, doesn't scratch, lets a lot more of the light through. Um, and it is, uh, in my opinion, a much better material for your light bar. It also costs more and is harder to build. We have a black, simple housing that, um, you know, is just used as a heat sink. Thin, pliable cord that's easy to move and bend. It is, uh, it's, it's a very high quality cord. And we have a lot of cord. Why do I do this? 
I don't think anyone should have not enough cord so that their ballast, their driver is hanging off the tank or it's exposed to salt water. With this length, there's no reason to have this exposed to salt water, thereby reducing your risk of electrical issues. So very long cord and you can see the connection is a, um, it's a locking and screwing mechanism so that it's a very tight and secure connection. Um, the, the biggest innovations are just kind of under the skin. So if, it's going to be pretty hard to see in this, in this video, but there's four LED diodes, LEDs, sorry, LED diodes is a, a du double. There's four diodes in that um, single lens, and they are all different spectrum, independently powered diodes. So what I have done is by doing that, um, there's a lot of competing light bars that you might say kind of look similar. And I do agree that there's a, there's several formats of design and there's several options with those designs. When you have a single color per lens, you get a lot of disco effect, um, separation of spectrum, and it's very, uh, underwater. It looks very choppy. Um, the helix by taking four individual spectrums on each lens, my repeating sequence is very small. It's either two or three. And since you have four spectrums inside each lens, you reduce the disco effect greatly and it looks very uniform and uh, natural. It does not look kind of stark and choppy. Um, and even at worst, some of the daylight bars on the market, it actually looks like spotlights of white and red. That's completely eliminated with my design. Um, and uh, it works out really well. So that was the uh the big innovation we took to this light bar so for a four foot light bar you're now looking at 160 leds that is more than almost any light bar on the market it costs a lot but the benefits are that no disc reduced greatly reduced disco effect blending of spectrum and a uniform beautiful appearance in your aquarium um, so that's the biggest selling point uh, in my opinion, is you take a high-end driver and great quad-core LED technology, and you combine it into a package that's affordable, um, up to three times you know cheaper than some of the options on the market with not a drop in performance. The other thing is that we really do offer a lot of different uh, 3D printed options. Um, and in fact, if you buy three light bars, you get a uh, three light bar mounting kit and a discount. So you get a free tank mount system and a slight discount over buying individual bars. Uh, that, that just adds a ton of value to this product line. Um, I do have a video on the three light bar uh, combo. We also sell four light bars and five light bars. Um, what I'm finding is for most mixed reef tanks that are between 18 and 24 inches wide, you only need three light bars. It, they produce a ton of power. These are high powered. The four foot model is roughly 80 watts. Um, and typically what you do is you have two blues and one white, or you could do two whites and one blue, depending on what you like to see. Uh, we have the Reef Crest Daylight, which is our natural uh, white light. And then you have the Meso Blue, which is our violet and blue focused bar. Uh, if you know about Quanta, we do believe in uh, using a lot of violet LEDs over the cheaper and more available uh, blue LEDs. We also do introduce some some cyans into our LED um, portfolio so that you get a more natural representation and your corals um, will do better in a wider spectrum. So that's kind of the entire uh, pull of the Quanta Helix. I think the spectrum uh, speaks for itself. I do believe the Meso Blue is the best blue light bar for coral coloration and growth. And the Reef Crest Daylight brings out the colors of the fish and the non-photosynthetic colors of the coral. Um, the four light bar uh, is great for SPS uh, heavier tanks. And then the five light bar is if you really want to grow wall-to-wall -wall SPS. So this uh, product line will take you from a beginner uh, mixed reef tank all the way to an advanced SPS only um, high tech, uh, you know, uh, tank. So anyways, thank you. If you have other questions, uh, please reach out. Um, we do, we do have some information on the website that can help answer questions. And, uh, we look forward to, um, 
hearing from you. Thanks again.